So in this episode, I'm going to share with you exactly what to do to prevent and mitigate and take care of any kind of GI distress, GI issues when you're using magic mushrooms. I'm Dr. Dave. This is Microdose U. Welcome. You're listening to Microdose U Radio on the world's famous KMDU FM Salt Lake City. Watch this. Watch this. Hey there. Welcome back. Nakama. All Nakama. I appreciate you so much. I'm Dr. Dave. And a pretty popular topic that I haven't really talked about in quite a while is GI distress. Like if you feel nauseous or have kind of diarrhea or anything like that while you're microdosing or using magic mushrooms, I'm going to take care of you right here in this episode. Before I do, first of all, I definitely want to thank all Nakama. Remember, Nakama is a Japanese word meaning kind of tribe, family, people all have the same common interest who are in a group together. That's us. Do you feel the energy here? We are doing it, guys and gals. Well, instead of saying guys and gals, I'll just say nakama because that encompasses all of you, every single one of you. But I'm so proud of you for being here and hanging with me and and doing this. And we're changing lives. And not only are you changing your own life, but we're helping others through our energy change lives. We're making the world a better place. And that's really my goal. That's what I want to do here. I also want to remind you that this coming Thursday, March 28th, we are doing a webinar. It's webinar number two, microdose webinar number two. And when I say we, Dr. Denise Moret, my friend and colleague who is a doctor of psychology and really, really well-versed in plant medicine, we're going to be doing this together. And the first one was an incredible success. We had a lot of people on the webinar, gave a good presentation, and then we answered a lot of questions. But I think this time what we're going to do is spend much more of our time answering your questions because unfortunately there are a lot of questions that went unanswered. We just didn't have enough time. We like to limit it to an hour. We don't really want to go over an hour. We don't want to monopolize your time. But in that hour, we just want to hang out with you, have some fun, keep it really light and and answer your questions and kind of just do what we need to do to get you moving in the right direction, get that needle going in the right direction. So if you're not sure, if you're still having some questions, some trepidations, some re- reservations about microdosing, you're just not positive what to do, join us on this webinar. It's going to be, again, Thursday, March 28th, 7 p.m. Eastern time in the United States. I know some of you guys over in the UK and other European countries and even Asia and other places, it's it's not a great time for you, but we're going to do it 7 p.m. Eastern. Translate that into your time zone. It will be well worth it if even if you could take a nap beforehand, set your alarm for your proper time zone and join us. It's free. There's no charge. You do have to register in advance and the link is webinar.com davidmaddo.com. And if you're not sure how to get to that still, go to the show notes and there's a very clear link right there for the webinar. Really want to see it on there. Space is limited, even though it's free. Again, you do have to pre-register. And I ask you a tremendous favor. Please only register for this if you're going to make it. If you register, you're saving a space for yourself. And if you don't show up, somebody else is going to be blocked out. So again, we really want to see you there. I hope you're there. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have fun and we'll get to kind of hang out with each other. Like I said, it's going to be very low key, like we're sitting in the same living room together and just kind of hanging out, having some tea, coffee, a drink, whatever it might be, and just doing our thing. And I can't wait to see you. Thursday, March 28th. Follow the link in the show notes. So I want to share a couple things with you that you can try if you're either worried about GI distress, nausea, vomiting, uh, diarrhea, uh, uh, you know, any kind of GI problem through microdosing. And, you know, it's not all that common, but some people do have it. And it's it's actually, even though it's not all that common, it's one of the most commonly asked questions because people are a little bit worried about it and afraid of it. And if they ingest some magic mushrooms, what's going to happen? Are they going to feel sick to their stomach? So let's go ahead and take care of this. The way I recommend microdosing, especially for beginners, is to use ground up dried magic mushrooms. You you know, they're dried out, they're ground up, they're fine powder, and generally put into capsules, weighed out on a milligram scale and put into capsules. You don't have to do any of this yourself. When you purchase these, they can be already, it can be already done for you. So you don't have to really worry about that. But ground up magic mushrooms is the best way to do it. Now, sometimes these can cause 
GI distress because it's it's not really the psilocybin that's causing stomach issues. It's it's not. It's not the psilocybin itself. It is the mushroom. It's the actual mushroom plant itself, the chitin, which is kind of like the hard shell of the mushroom. That, in some people, does cause some GI problems. So our goal is to eliminate that you know, mushroom plant, the fruit, the hard shell. And there are two ways that I know to do this very, very predictably. The first way is instead of putting your dried up magic mushroom powder in capsules, put it in an empty tea bag. A lot of times those typical tea strainers are not good enough because the fine particles, the fine ground up magic mushrooms, are, they're so small, they'll, they'll seep right through that strainer. So a tea bag is really best. And you can get empty tea bags on Amazon really easily. I'll, I'll see if I can throw a link up there for the ones I use. But all you do is put the exact same amount of magic mushroom powder in the tea bag, in the empty tea bag as you would in the capsule. So let's just say you're microdosing 200 milligrams, just making this up totally from scratch. You would take that 200 milligrams of ground up powder, put it in the empty tea bag, let it steep in some very hot water for about five to 10 minutes. That's going to go ahead and extract pretty much all of the active ingredient, the psilocybin from the mushroom itself, the ground up mushroom into your hot water. Then you drink it and it has the exact same effect as if you would ingest the capsule without any kind of GI distress whatsoever. I promise you guys, you won't have GI distress from the hot tea. You won't. Also, since the psilocybin is actually extracted from the mushroom itself and gone, it's gone into the hot water, it will act quite a bit faster than if you ingest it and you have to digest you know, the, the actual mushroom itself, and then the psilocybin is extracted that way. So it, it, it's definitely faster. So it's a really, it's a really good method. You, sh- you can try making some hot psilocybin, or hot, hot magic mushroom tea. Um, look, I guess if you're a fan of, of iced tea, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with doing it. You have to do it hot at first, or it won't extract the, you know, the, the chemical, the, the psilocybin. But if you want, and, and you want to turn it into some iced tea, I, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I've never really done the iced tea, but once it's hot and it's all done, then you put some ice in it and you're good to go. So if it's a hot summer day, that's that's fine too. I've never done it, but there's no reason why that should not work. Okay, now the second way of eliminating GI distress is what's called lemon teching. Lemon tech or lemon teching. And what that means is, you, you again, you take the same powder that you would have put inside an empty tea bag. Instead of putting it inside of a tea bag... Imagine a little, like a small little dish, kind of around the size. You know, when you go to a Japanese restaurant and you get sushi and you you put the soy sauce in a little dish, a a dish about that size. If you've got something at home about that or a little, like a little ramekin maybe, just a tiny little dish. And what I would do is squeeze at least a half of lemon's worth of juice into that dish. So imagine like half a lemon, squeeze all the juice into the dish and then put your powder, you can do it either way, powder first or lemon first, doesn't really matter. And then it's going to make like a paste. So again, you take your, I'm just making this up again, if you're microdosing 200 milligrams, take your 200 milligrams of powder, put it into this lemon juice mix. It's going to create like a paste or a little slurry. Let it sit for about, again, about 10 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes, I would say. What that's going to do, it's going to pre-digest the chitin, the, the, the hard material of the mushroom. It's going to pre-digest that. It's going to change the psilocybin into psilocin, which is the actual, or psilocin as some people say, which is the active ingredient that is going to go ahead and give you the effect that you're looking for. Then after about 10 to 15 minutes, go ahead and just swallow that paste. If you're not crazy about swallowing a paste like that put it in in a drink or a smoothie but it's it's going to be fine it's going to be really easy to swallow and it's, it's so but but put it in anything you want at that point because all the pre-digestion has been done from the acid from the from the from the lemon juice it's it's taking care of everything that would take place in your stomach and it's going to minimize or eliminate any nausea feeling sick to your stomach vomiting or even diarrhea or anything along those lines is going to take care of that. And it's also it's it's also going to make the 
dose feel a little bit stronger because again, it's pre-digested. It's turned the psilocybin into the psilocin already outside of your stomach. So it's going to feel a little stronger. So if you're used to dosing about a 200 milligram microdose, it could feel a little bit more like 250. Again, it's not going to be 250, but it could feel a little bit more like 250. So just keep that in mind. You might want to start off when you're lemon taking, you might want to start off with a little bit of a large, uh, I'm sorry, a little bit of a smaller dose, maybe, maybe a third smaller. Again, making that up, it's approximate. There's nothing exact here, but a little bit smaller than you're used to because it could, you could have a little bit of a stronger sensation, a little bit of stronger feel. Okay, those are two of my favorite methods for eliminating or minimizing or mitigating any kind of gastric distress from magic mushrooms, from microdosing, or even macrodosing. People use the same technique for macrodosing. So keep that in mind if you're doing a little bit of a larger dose. It still works for sure. GI distress is not as much of an issue in microdosing since we're just dealing with a very small amount as it is in macrodosing. Now, when I've done a little bit of a larger dose, I've still never had any kind of GI problem whatsoever. I, I just never have, but everybody's different, and I realize that some people do. So go ahead and use one of those two techniques or try both, see which one's better for you. But I will pretty much assure you that if you use either one of those techniques, you're going to be fine as far as the GI issues that so many people are concerned about in microdosing. Hope this helps you. Remember, I put out a brand new episode every single Wednesday, every single Friday, sometimes on Mondays. If there is some type of an announcement, I will go ahead and give you an announcement episode, which will be pretty short one. It won't really be content heavy, but it'll just be some type of an announcement, something we're doing, something we're planning. So keep an eye out for those as well. I'm just so happy to have you here. I just feel so good and, and your energy today is really, really good. I can feel it. There's a lot of buildup coming up to this webinar we're going to be doing Thursday, March 28th. I want to see you there. I want to see you bring some people that you think might resonate with this whole thing. We're, remember, we're, we're pioneers here, guys. Nakama, we're forging the path towards really great mental health, physical health, spirituality, kindness. We're being better to the planet, better to other people, better to animals. We're doing our thing, and I just can't think of any better way right now. You know, I've been microdosing for three years, and it's been a life changer for sure. And I'm really certain, I'm really optimistic that it's going to change your life if you embrace it, if you do what I tell you, if you do it the way I tell you. It's not medical advice, but it's life advice. And remember, practice microdosing responsibly. Please be sure to do it safely in an area where it's legal or decriminalized. I'm not going to police you. We've had people ask us if we still will allow people into the program, into the one-on-one -on -one coaching program, if you're not in one of those areas. And I say, absolutely. I'm not in the business of, you know, policing people. I'm just trying to keep you safe. That's all. But, but again, you know, we've got people from all over the country in our one-on-one -on -one coaching program and, it's working out really, really well. The link is in the show notes if you're interested. The people that are interested, they'll find me. They'll find it, and it's working out so well. Again, we are changing lives here at Microdose U. Until next time, I'm Dr. Dave. I love you.